Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is one that I have not done for a while and that is a weekend vlog. I've been doing a lot of weekly vlogs and while I think that they're just really fun to film and I like putting them together, I really just wanted to do more of like a restful weekend in my life showing you guys how i reset showing you guys my sunday routine and just really enjoying the weekend and having like a fresh you know time to really relax i have been really just pouring a lot of energy into work throughout january because i've had a lot of motivation which is really good but it's just always nice to kind of take the weekend just to enjoy your home, get to enjoy spending time with Aiden and just having a really good time. So I wanted to share this weekend with you guys. I don't have any plans, so it's gonna be really chill. Hopefully when you're watching this on a Saturday, it can just be like a good kind of zen video for you to chill out. It's Friday right now. I wanted to do this clip before I actually get into the weekend because I think it's a little bit more applicable for actually working because today's sponsor of the video is Warby Parker, which I'm so excited about. I have been wanting a new pair of blue light glasses when we moved to Texas, somehow my blue light glasses got lost in translation and I do not know where they're at. So I actually am planning on ordering some new ones. And so I actually wanted to get your guys' help on selecting some. Warby Parker is committed to providing exceptional vision care online and in stores. They have eyeglasses, sunglasses, eye exams, and also contact lenses. They are really trying to provide you with really high quality glasses, but at a more affordable price. So their frames actually start at $95. It's really helpful if you're trying to order these online because they have a really personal quiz that you can take and just fill out the kind of glasses that you like, what you're looking for, the style of frames, and they will help match you with the perfect glasses for you. And you also get a really helpful little try-on kit, which is what I'm about to go through. It ships to you for free. You get to select five different glasses. You can try them on, see which ones you like, and then you just ship them back, and then you can order the pair that you really like, and it's free. It's free to ship back to them as well. And you get to keep them for five days. So you get enough time to kind of select. And there's no obligation to buy if you just actually don't like any of them. So I'm gonna try on mine. You guys should let me know which ones you like best because I actually am gonna order blue light glasses, but this pair is the Clemens. They just look like this. These ones are the Liddell ones, which I also think are super cute. They're very similar. These ones are the Hayden glasses. These ones are a little bit more boxy. These are the Amelia glasses, which I think are my favorites so far. I really like these ones. And these are the Eugene glasses, which I also really like these. I think these and the Amelia ones are my favorites. I personally really like Warby Parker because I know right now it's really hard to try on glasses in stores. Even if you go in stores, you have to like disinfect them every time you actually try them on. And it's just like a whole process, but it's really nice that you get to do this all from the comfort of your home. Just makes the process a lot easier. You guys can visit warbyparker.com slash Michelle Reed to order your free try on kit to get your own pair of glasses. You get to try it five different pairs and you can also keep it for five days to pick which ones you like best And then you can just ship it back for free because it actually comes with a prepaid shipping label And also don't forget to let me know which ones you like best because I am gonna order these I'm gonna carry on with the rest of my work day and then get back to you guys when the weekend officially starts Saturday. I'm being a little bit quiet because Aiden is still sleeping. You can probably hear our sound machine. It's about 10 o'clock right now. Yesterday we just had like a little date night in. It was actually really fun. We just watched a movie, hung out, and then talked in our bed for like three hours last night, which is like the best night. So it was really fun. But it's Saturday morning. I'm about to post a video. I always post my weekly vlogs on Saturday. So I'm about to post that and then respond to some comments. I also just did a little bit of reading on the couch just to kind of relax. It's a really kind of gloomy morning today. So just enjoying the Saturday. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? I just finished getting ready, but I wanted to show you guys. I talked about this in a weekly vlog recently. I wanted to try out this dupe. It's supposed to be a dupe of the Lululemon Align Tops, and I'm wearing it today. I got this really pretty blue color, and I actually really like it. I think that they are just as supportive. They're just as thick, in my opinion. They're just not as soft, but it's basically half the price, and I think they're really, really cute and comfy. So I'll have these linked down below. I'm wearing a small, highly recommend. I'm just wearing a little aloe hat, and then also just my Lululemon Aligns. 
and I'm wearing one of Aiden's jackets because I think it's a little bit chilly. Aiden's in the shower so you can probably hear his music, but we are walking the Katy Trail today, which is a really nice trail in Dallas. We've always wanted to do the whole thing, but we just figured out it's three hours there and three hours back, so we might just do like a couple hours in each direction, probably around like a three hour walk. We've always wanted to do just like a really long walk on the Katy Trail, so we're gonna do that today because it's sunny, it's 75 degrees, it's like a beautiful day, which is my favorite weather. And then I think we might go drive around and look at houses. I've talked about this in some of my videos, but we really wanna to try to buy a house within the next like couple of years, probably not for another year, maybe another year after that. But we're trying to kind of scope out areas around where we live, around like the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and just to see which neighborhood we might wanna actually buy in one day. We would really like to buy a house over building a house, but the housing market here in Dallas right now in Fort Worth is crazy. So many people are moving here and it's really hard to get a house right now. So hopefully in a couple of years, it will be a little bit different, but it's just interesting to kind of drive around and see different places. So I think we're also gonna do that today. Dreaming of you. So I've just been hanging out here on the couch. We went and did our walk, which was actually really tiring and really it was a workout. And then we went and got some Smoothie King, drove around, looked at houses. It's now 5.30. I think we're gonna go grab some dinner here soon. We're actually gonna go to the ice house that's on the Katy Trail. It's like a little outdoor place and we've always wanted to go here. So we're gonna go tonight. And then I think we're gonna go ahead and see my family too tonight. We're gonna hang out over there. Some nice family time. Just a nice chill Saturday. I've just been sitting here with my laptop doing some random laptop stuff. I definitely still have seeds in my teeth, but just getting a good rest in. So it's Sunday today and we went to church this morning, picked up some Starbucks. I got the Starbucks cold brew that has the almond milk foam with cocoa and it's really good. It's like one of my favorite kind of like treat drinks from Starbucks. And I just changed into some comfy little loungewear PJs. I'm about to have a really nice just Sunday kind of reset. I wanted to put this in today's vlog because I love Sundays and I love kind of making Sundays a day for me to plan for the week ahead, get organized and clean. I need to do like a full deep clean of the apartment. There are clothes everywhere. I'm trying to put away some laundry. Our place is like a disaster. It's not clean and it's like dirty. I need to actually deep clean like the toilet and the bathtub and all that stuff. I actually really like cleaning. I prefer to clean and do everything because I feel like when there are a lot of different things in your mind that you can't control, cleaning is just a very therapeutic thing to see something get clean, to see something get organized. And it helps me kind of get into those harder tasks when I complete the cleaning task when everything is just nice and fresh and it's just nicer to enjoy a clean environment. So Aiden just went to run a quick errand and then I think I'm gonna go ahead and meal plan for the week and give him a grocery list to pick up some groceries for us because I don't really feel like going to the grocery store today. He's probably gonna help me with that and just have a nice Sunday. I love kind of taking Sunday to rest but also prep for the week because I have a pretty busy week coming up here and I love watching vlogs where people are just having like a chill Sunday where they clean get stuff done. So I'll show you guys kind of like my cleaning routine. I also want to prep for the week. It's tax season and I need to kind of start chipping away at tax stuff this week. And I think this is the last year I'm going to do my taxes on our own because I'm married now. I have a manager for YouTube. And so there's just like a lot of pieces when it comes to taxes when you're self-employed. I've always been able to do it up until now, but I think it's just a little too complicated. So this will probably be the last year of me doing it just because it's a lot. So, but I need to carve out a lot of time. I want to get a lot done within the next two weeks and then just cook some dinner tonight. Have like a restful Sunday. So I'm excited to just 
take you guys along on my Sunday. I'll have these little PJs linked down below. I think they're so cute. I might grab another pair because I've been wearing them a lot. I saw Renee Amberg wearing them in a video and I was like, those are so cute. So I ordered them. Probably just gonna pop in my AirPods and listen to a podcast. I also wanna declutter a bit because I've gotten some new clothes and I really do try to get rid of stuff whenever I get stuff because I like to make space for new items instead of just adding clutter. And especially I got some new workout stuff recently that I showed you guys and so I want to get rid of just some old workout clothes that I'm not wearing got some laundry going so it's just like a nice little chill Sunday afternoon but let's just go ahead and get started on getting it all done humidifier that we got recently Aiden's been getting nosebleeds in the night and I'm pretty sure it's just because the weather in Texas or the air is really dry so I wanted to grab a humidifier so I found this one off Amazon and I think it's really pretty it's just like a very simple design it's not very expensive but I'll have it linked down below if you need one I also think it just kind of looks pretty next to our bed This morning half so clear a light as any To see the horizon and the far Excuses were two for a penny But they've all gone out the window of the So I just finished cleaning which is such a good feeling It was like such a deep clean too Our bathroom was so disgusting but i'm gonna sit down now and do some meal planning i kind of want to talk about how i plan my meals this is a question that i get sometimes here on youtube so i really only plan our dinners i don't do like meal plan for lunch we're both here so we just kind of eat whatever we're feeling like so i'll get stuff for our lunches and for our breakfast but i'll never like plan those out but for dinners i usually like to map out at least four a week and then some nights we'll be eating with my family we do a date night one night sometimes two nights so i don't like to overbuy because that's one of my problems with grocery shopping i tend to overbuy produce and like actual ingredients for food and then i won't use them i'll use like the stuff that's easier to make I'm trying to be a little bit better i've been using this cookbook that i keep talking about all the time it's defined dish i really like this one because it's easier it's like healthy and wholesome weeknight recipes really easy to modify if you want to make them gluten-free dairy-free she has a lot of like modifications i really like this one i'll have it linked down below and then otherwise, I will literally just Google on my phone. I have a lot of recipes that I do pretty often that I like. And then each week I will just go in here. I'll do a little screen recording. So I'll just go in my notes app. And what I like to do is kind of plan out the meals and link them so I don't forget them. So I'll write like, if I decide to make this creamy tomato basil soup, I'll write that at the top. And then I like to use this little like bullet point list. So then you can write like green onions or ground beef. And then I can check them off as I'm going through the list, which is just really nice and easy to do. And I also like this because when Aiden grocery shops for us, I can just go ahead and click these dots at the top. And then I can do share note. And then I can add him to the note, which is really nice. So then he can just, Go through the grocery store and do it and i can edit it in real time too if like they're out of something and i can add something it's just really nice so there are some things that we eat all the time so like avocados apples bananas beef jerky cheese lettuce so those are kind of staples that i'll always add but then i'll go ahead and add also all the specialized stuff that i need for our dinner so i'm gonna go ahead and write out our list if you know 
you know. The best part about cleaning is always lighting your candles at the end. It's like a different kind of serene after a deep clean getting to light your candles. And our lighter is out of fuel and I'm really sad. It almost feels like the cleaning wasn't worth it. No, I'm just kidding. Just mapped out my week. I finished doing that. Also wrote out my to-do list for tomorrow. I like to do this before Monday because then when I go to work on Monday, I can just sit down and like actually get everything done instead of like writing out a to-do list and all that. I'm about to cook dinner now. I'm probably gonna watch some like Netflix or something. And then I think after I might actually take a bath. I have a door over there open because it's really hazy in here for some reason. Sometimes I like taking baths on Sunday nights. I think it's kind of nice. Mm -hmm. 